Some breaking news tonight. You're looking live from Sky 9 at protesters back at City Hall right now after marching through the streets of downtown Los Angeles for nearly two hours tonight. During this fourth night of protest now, we are getting reports of people tagging buildings and cars as well as blocking some streets downtown. Good evening, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. And I'm Peter Dowd. The crowd seems to be growing right now in downtown. KKL 9's Jennifer Kastner is live near the march with the very latest. Jennifer, unfortunately, we're hearing things are turning a little bit violent. Elsa, that's right. The crowd appears to be a little bit unruly right now. Also, the size has grown quite significantly. There were about 50 protesters earlier tonight, and now we're looking at maybe 250 to 300. You can see them on the steps of City Hall just behind me. They have their signs out, and they are chanting anti-Trump sentiments. There's been a lot of action. Just in the past hour or so, a group of protesters started walking through downtown L.A. tonight. They were in the middle of the streets. We saw them knocking on the back of cars. They were being disruptive and disobedient. We did see at least one person get detained. There have been reports that there's been tagging of buildings. They may have tagged a news truck. Also reports that there were some arrests that were made. And all of this comes after earlier today when we had this big protest with about 8,000 people. But that one was peaceful. No arrests were made. It looks like things are taking kind of a turn right now. I do see LAPD standing by, but they are not intervening at this time. It looks like they're letting these people exercise their right to free speech. Peter Nelsa, 